Yo, what is up, guys? It's uh, it's your boy, Hacking Assassin here, and today, uh, I recently got Hello Neighbor, and I really got into exploring, and I was able to find uh, uh, uh two Hello Neighbor Unreal Engine missing scripts, and uh, the first one is in Act One, so you can literally just get the game and find this. It's probably the weirdest out of the two. It's probably weirder out of the two. And it's really weird how they were to put this here. For some reason, uh, the missing scripts are just, like, random files that are just unscripted. And so if you touch them, they bring you to random places. And w with the only- with the two that I could find, they always bring you to one different place, so... As you see, you start with this cutscene and he kicks the ball. And, uh, what you- what you usually do is you head over there and you go over to the neighbor's house all these creepy missing posters so what you really want to do is you want to go you want to go to this house over here and you will find the uh, the first unreal engine missing script now it's weird because like this is the very start of the game that's the weirdest part like you've just started and like all these creepy missing posters and stuff and then you find the unreal engine missing script now if you even seen an unreal engine missing script you know that it makes a not very pleasant sound whenever you touch it, and it brings you to a random place. So I'm gonna take off my headphones because right now they're super loud. I don't know how to turn them down. So, and uh, we're gonna walk into them. Watch. See, as you can see, it brings you to this random place full of letters and other things, and that's just nothing down there. You just die, or you just fall infinitely. So. I was lucky to be able to land here, and uh, as you can see, there's just random numbers. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's just probably most likely just random game code that uh, kind of just happened. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna load up um, an Act Three, not Act One. No, I loaded up Act One. Gosh dang it! Cut this part out, me. All right, so um, the second act, or the or the second and only other one is in Act Three, so I'm gonna load up uh, the latest Act Three autosave that I have. I'm hoping that this is not going to be already where it takes you, but I gotta admit the Act One one is actually probably weirder because there's really not much to see with it, but with Act Three there's so much more. Like, the, these were found since I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah don't, yeah, don't make me do these cutscenes. Do I have my stuff? Okay. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that we should just be able to. So, what you want to do first is you want to just quickly head up. Gosh dang it. Neighbors right here, so we want to just kind of get them out of here. We want neighbor to move away. I don't know why he just bounced up. So what you want to do is you want to get into the elevator. You want to go up. Why is I'm pretty sure? Yes, you want to go up twice to the point where like you can get over to the train station. And so it's because it's kind of dumb to do at night. Yeah, let me just kill myself. We're not doing this at night. Cut this out. Alright, now it's good enough for us to explore, it's nice daytime, if I get caught on accident, well, I'll be okay. So you clearly, you just go up the elevator, uh, the ladders twice, not up there because that's like a little water place, you go up here to the train and you just want to follow the train tracks. Just want to kind of follow the train. You don't want to be in front of the train because if, it, if that front of the train hits you, you're dead. So we just want to keep going. going. Just keep following the train. If you fall off, well, go do it again. Then you come across this, the, uh, the two random things. So, uh, there's a little door over there that you can open. So you see this little platform, you want to jump onto that. And everything looks normal here. There's like random windows and stuff, but this. That looks in particular, doesn't it? It looks so strange, almost as if Tiny Build Games made it so that you can go right through it. And now you're under the strange escalator stairs, and you've noticed it's a little black void, and if you go in here, 
here's the second missing script. Now, here's the cool part. You go into it. You don't die. And now you're out of the map. So, you can go explore. There's no places that you can fall off from what I've seen. Right now, you spawn into the cemetery. And if you're playing this on anything, you should get an achievement uh, about going to the cemetery. And almost maybe half of the... Uh, all, about maybe half of the achievements in this game are going to various places outside of the map. So... This is actually probably the most useful. This is probably the most useful um Unreal Engine script. So yeah, there's the factory over there. Uh, it's a pretty cool script. Basically, it just puts you outside of the map. You can't get back in. The only way to go back in is to restart or kill. You can't even kill yourself outside of the map. You can go. There's no boundaries anymore except to some of the places. Like the factory has a boundary. The, uh, the water tower also has a boundary for some reason. And if you jump off the map, there really is no boundary. Although you will see a strange rectangle, which I presume is the basement. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, those are the two uh, missing scripts. And also be careful for jumping down hills like this because you can take fall damage and die. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not much to really say about the Unreal, uh, the, uh, the Unreal Missing Scripts, but, uh, the fact that Tiny Build Games might have actually just kept them there for snooping players, like myself. So, um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want, if you guys want to see more of the Unreal Missing Script action, you guys can like and subscribe, and I will do it more. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, um, I know that this is kind of strange that it's like after the video has ended and stuff, but as I was editing the video, my friend texted me a, uh, that he was able to find another, another, uh, Unreal Engine missing script, but for some reason he said that it was different from the others. And it's at the very start of Act 3, so we're gonna start the game from that point and, uh, see what he can, we, what we can find. He didn't tell me what it was or anything, but he, uh, he did tell me wh how to get to it. So here we are at Act 3. Um, so, at the very start, you're just in the little place here, your little apartment complex place. You just gotta wait for the knock on the door and the eviction letter. I shall hide in the closet until... Or not. Do I even have a TV in this house? I do. What's that? To be Dane the Sealed. Do I even have like a proper bedroom? sleep on my couch because I'm that kind of guy in the apartment complex. So I just skip these cutscenes. Do 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 do. So what you want to do is you don't want to head over to Neighborino's house. Neighborino's house is weird. I mean, you could go over there. I don't know if it messes anything. So you grab the blue-green key that's weird for some reason. Because it looks blue, but it's not. So you go in here. You want to avoid the phone, because if you even get very close to it, you'll immediately answer it, which will start up the start of Act 3. What You don't want to do that. You want to grab these two boxes. And that's just a door. This door is right here, just kind of existing. So, as you can see, uh, it's kind of like blocked off. You gotta put two boxes down. Whoa, okay then. And, uh, yep, there you go. Now you can jump over. And now we're upstairs. So, if you go into this room, there's not much. He said to go into the room to my left. And then there's something weird. Oh! Unreal Engine text render error. Oh, this is a QR code. So there's a QR code, and it says Unreal Re Unreal Engine text render error two seven one five. I've never seen this before, so I'm gonna scan. I'm gonna 
kind of crouch down. I'm gonna scan this QR, this here QR code. I'm gonna see what it says. Okay, I got it. Okay, it, it's a text file. It says, now you have all the parts. You can erase me. Wait for my signs. Look for the green light in the beginning. Use AI underscore air dumping equals zero when time comes. What? This makes no sense. Now you have all the parts. Wait for my green light. The green light in the beginning. What are you talking about? See, now I feel as if they put this here for a strange reason. I feel as if now there's some kind of extra lore for Hello Neighbor for those snooping players like me. A little bit of a lore for the Snoopies. That's pretty cool that they put a little bit of a lore for those snooper players who really want to get extra out of the game. So I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if you can get in here. No, you can get in here. There might not be much in here though. Yeah, not much. You got your toilet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's probably really weird. That is really weird. Um, shout outs to, um, shout outs to Sam for telling me that. Thank you, Sam, for telling me that this existed. I don't know what the numbers mean. I don't know what this means, but... Okay, so if you touch it, you don't go anywhere. It's just there. It's just there following you. It's just like the Unreal Engine missing scripts, except it doesn't teleport you. It, it, it's just there. There's no lighting involved. It just exists. That's pretty weird. The numbers don't follow you, though. That's kind of weird. That's kind of scary. You go right up in here. Just yeah, the numbers don't follow you. They just there. So um yeah, that's that's the third one. And so um now we're at the end. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope that if you guys really like this stuff, like like and subscribe, please. And um I'll see you guys in the next video.